Welcome to the YouTube channel. If you don't know who I am, let me introduce myself to you properly. My name is Watermaya, an African vlogger who is on a journey to change the negative narrative of Africa by bringing you positive stories that the world media is not showing you. That is why I am unique. I am unique in a way that I want to tell the diaspora that it's time to make Africa home again so that the diasporans, Africans themselves, will believe that Africa is the place to be. I also bridge the gap between what? Africans in Africa and Africans in the diaspora. So which means that the content that I'm going to upload today is not anything different from what I've been doing. I hope to see myself in the Caribbean very soon. It's just that this YouTuber you see right here is so broke. That's why I'm telling you that you need to like this video, share to so many people so that, I mean, we can get cash to travel more. Two days ago, I posted on my Instagram and my Facebook asking my audience and I think so many people missed this point. Do you know that the people of Haiti are descendants of Africa? Which means that they came from Africa. Listen, how did they end up in wherever they are? They are Africans that were captured from their own motherland and taking them somewhere else. So I hope to see Haitians reconnecting back to their roots once again. Kwame Nkrumah once said, a black man is capable of managing his own affairs, but the world media is not celebrating Africans that are managing their own affairs in their own way. And this is why I am here to celebrate African excellence. Nobody told me that Haiti is the only country in this world with no president. So you are seeing the title of this video, right? No, he's not a president. He's the aspiring president to be. Nobody said in the comment section that Haitians are descendants of Africa. Whether you like it or not, every black man in this world came from Africa. And Haitians will not be left out. If you don't believe me, this is the proof. I have been there. This is where Haitians came from. So Kundo from Beni was brought to this port and put on board a slave ship and sent to the Caribbean, especially in St. Thomas. From St. Thomas, he was being brought and sent into Haiti or Haiti. So he, he, he was also a slave? Yeah, he was, they took him as a slave, but he was one of the powerful chiefs from Beni, and others would have the view that he's a slave breeder. But some, they didn't understand. Okay, but he was taken away. So he was sent to uh, Haiti. That's why after they have traveled to Haiti, they do the Voodoo Festival. So, um, yeah, so yeah. Haiti is one of the African countries with yeah. a strong. So after he was taken Voodoo. away, the airways composer was on to mm. fought on his behalf. And what is the song? And this fort that you seen was built by Africans. And don't forget that it's called a fort. So that's a male. But don't forget that every male needs a female. And the female version can be found in Haiti. To build this, can you imagine? No siemens used in limestone, sugarcane and molasses, animal blood, sand, the blood of the car. He put all things together to build this. No siemens. It takes 14 years to build this. After this, someone will come and tell me that Africans are not intelligent. If you ever go to Haiti, you will know that voodoo is the official religion of the people of Haiti. But do you know the roots of the voodoo that they worship in there? It came from Ghana, Togo, and Benin. To the extent that during my travels in 2019, I found myself in Togoville, where voodoo and Christianity coexist. I mean, that is the country that I went to that uh, I was asked to worship the gods and I had to follow it and I lost a thousand subscribers the same minute people telling me that I've sold my soul to the devil. This is it. Guys, before you trip over Haiti and its culture like voodoo, this is something that is done all over the South America in terms of Latin people do this and uh, white people do this. It's 
witchcraft or whatever you can, may want to call it, but it's, it's part of people's cultures. I am trying so hard to convince you that the people of Haiti came from Africa. The word Haiti means the land of mountains. Let's link it to Africa. Which African country is known to be the land of mountains? Do you know that? You don't know. Welcome to the kingdom of Lesotho, the land of mountains. You don't think after hearing all this about the great Haiti, we need to embrace our own people and welcome them to the African Union? Hmm. Or maybe because the African Union is not functioning right now, you don't think it's advisable? Um, let's see. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment and let me know. Do you think Haiti should be part of Africa? Because I think after doing my research about this country, this is the only Africanized country that is living out of Africa. And the last fact that I need to leave you all with is Haiti is the first black-led country to gain independence. Do you know the first country to gain its independence in Africa? Welcome to Ghana. Thank you very much. I, I don't think there is any difference between Ghana and Haiti. Exactly. We are in the same tropical environment and we look same. Exactly. Even where we are right now. Exactly. I mean, what I know about Haiti is that it's known for its beautiful beaches. Very beautiful beach environment, but you know, sometimes the media... More than 1,400 people died in a 7.2 magnitude earthquake, and now a tropical storm is battling the island's nation. Why is the media always saying that Haiti is poor? You know, Haiti is a big history. You know, we are the first black republic, more than 218 years with also found with his trouble fighting for this freedom. So because of our freedom, a mm -hmm. lot of opposition try to always make Haiti and darkness. But I think now the new generation and the diaspora between Haitian living in Haiti look something different. I have never been to Haiti before. And I believe that since you are in Ghana right now, you're definitely an ambassador for Haiti. Oh, Haiti is a very beautiful country. Like you see Ghana, it's like you are in Haiti. We have the more beautiful beaches like Labadi. Labadi is very known for crowds and a lot of people come different places to go there. Mm. Uh, we have like Clinton, you know, with Eli Clinton. It was in Labadi after the marriage, you know. So okay. uh, Haiti is very strategical. In the south and the north, we have very beautiful places. You mean you have a place called Labadi? In Haiti? Exactly. And do you know that you are sitting in Labadi Beach Hotel? This is a very big connection and coincidence. This is incredible. Exactly. I mean, you're more like one of us right now. You know, uh, Labadi is in the north of Haiti. Mm. It's a very beautiful place. One of the best places you can see in the old Caribbean countries. Whoa. It's very, like, uh, like Clinton, after her wedding, go there to honeymoon. You can imagine that. Yeah, when I get married, I will use this place as my honeymoon. <laughs> you speak French in your, in your yes. country? Yes, we speak French and Creole. Oh, Creole. I mean, do you know that an African country called Sierra Leone also speaks Creole? Exactly. We have many countries, like in Asia, you have a lot of countries speak Creole. But we say Haitian Creole. We have Creole, Guadalupe, Martinique, but Haitian Creole. Which means Haiti should be an African country. Exactly, because we are the only black republic nation out of Africa. I can say Haiti extension of Africa. That is the reason my fight is to see how Haiti can be one of the state of Africa. What do you mean by one of your fights? <laughs> are you the president of the country? So, I'm aspirant. Some leader tell me you have to say incoming president of Haiti. Oh, wow. So I'm sitting down with an aspiring president of Haiti. Exactly. I think I've made it in life. A big round of applause for him, man. So definitely when, when, when you become president, employ me as the Haitian tourism minister. You're welcoming. Still now we can start to work because I just inaugurated Friday Africa Haiti Chamber of Commerce in Ghana. 
That's amazing. Yes. This concept wants to bring business people together, different industry, and to start to dreaming right now. Were you born in Haiti? I born in Haiti. Grew up in Haiti? Yes. But early also, uh, after my 23, I was traveling to Europe and different nations by the passion I have, travel. There's something that I don't understand, yeah? I think when you do research about Haiti, you realize that over 3 million Haitians live in abroad. Exactly. We have like almost 5 million of Haitians outside of the country. Almost 12 million living in the country. It's more like almost half of the population living outside. Exactly. Why is that? Number one, the insecurity issue. Number two, the stability sometimes. But I think now we are in the new season because we can see more passion our generation want to living in Haiti. Mm. We have more than 55% of youth people less than 30 years in our country. Mm. All of them want to live in Haiti. So one of my goal is to anchor the diaspora, come back home to rebuild Haiti. The same you have this program in Ghana, all diaspora come and return. That is the same picture we want bring the diaspora and Haiti to come together to build, to build our country. That is very important because that's the message that I've been preaching that Africans in the diaspora and Africans in Africa need to come together to build Africa together because Africa's problem can only be solved by Africans. By Africans. So if Haiti is facing any problem right now, I believe that Haitian have to have the solution. Haitian has to have a solution. But I believe too, after our independence, we try with many other nations, we try with the Western, we don't understand the problem in the mm. same way. Mm. But when I travel in West Africa, mm. it can be in Benin, Nigeria, Togo, I can see in Ghana, it's the same environment people. So I'm here also to learn how you solve, how you bring solutions. Because when I see how Ghana pacify, the spirit entrepreneurship I see here, mm. I want the same home. And one of the things I want also is to heal my nation by encouraging them also to come in the West Africa home to connect with the motherland. I think Marcus Garvey will be so proud of you because you are living his dream right now. Exactly. Is it your first time in Africa? It's not my first time. My first time in Ghana. So how many African countries have you been? I was in Nigeria, uh, Togo, Benin, and I'm here now in Ghana. How was Nigeria? Wonderful. Really? I have a very good connection with Nigerian people also. I was entonized like a prince in, in, uh, in Nigeria, Ogun State. Really? Exactly. So I, I meet a king, I, ex I expose him my vision for the country. He said, let make this son prince in our kingdom. That's the sign. We honor him, we are sending him back home. They bring big ceremony. Two kings and the different dignities, politicians come together to honor me. They give me official certification. For let, that. let me tell you something. Nigerians <laughs> always make things bigger. He's very so angry. that's why they had to honor you. <laughs> A big shout out to Nigerians, man. <laughs> let me know, yeah. You've been to all these West African countries. What is the difference between these West African countries that you've been and Haiti? What's the difference? Okay, the difference I can see Africa already over the pain. It's like I see more mindset to build, to find solution. Mm. But in my country, we're still facing challenges with the pain of the history. Because you know, it's 500 years yeah. of manipulation, politics, mm. of oppression. Mm. But our people, you can see, is very religion, resilient people. They're very strong. Mm. So now we are in transition between healing and building. So me, I over, overcome this pain. Mm. I would like to say all Asian leaders, let go, let move on, let forgive. Now it's time to build a new Haiti. This Haiti, this new Haiti will build with Africa. Wow. That is the reason I created the Chamber of Commerce to see how we can connect businessmen in Africa with businessmen in Haiti to develop tourism, to develop industry, mm. education, mm. and different field of progress. Mm. That is the way. I, I think that is very important. And what are the similarities so far? Lafito, something like that, uh, you know, in yeah. the big restaurant. Yeah. And I have a, a friend, he opened the whole menu for me. Uh -huh. But it's the same, it's like I was in Haiti. Beans really? with rice, uh, vegetable, aubergine, all those things is the same similar food. 
So I don't see too much different. So will you say that we are the same people? We are the same people. We are African. You I'm believe in like, that? Yes, I'm here like African. I'm here like African. I'm not here just like Haitian. I will tell you some secret about Haiti, the word Haiti. Mm. Uh, people was living before the Spanish come there to discover the new world. It was yeah. Indian, but with black African wood. So when the Spanish came, mm -hmm. genocide happened there. Wow. So now French, England and Spain, all of them tried to fight for the leadership. Now they decided to come in West Africa and Africa mm. to take African people to grow the sea. Mm. But after our freedom, 218 years ago, our father decided to still preserve the name of Haiti. Haiti is Indian name. Mm. He means high mountains or mountain of the sea. Wow. So by recognition of those people living before in the land, our fathers, our ancestors still keep the name of Haiti for memory of those people who were genocided. So Haiti mindset is something powerful. Mm. The revolution of Haiti changed the model of the economy because the economy was based by trade, human being trade. Wow. Now, by this revolution, we start to think differently because Toussaint Louverture, one of our Eric leaders, he writing the constitution. Mm. What was the constitution? He said, everybody has to have the same treatment. So the civility for all, born in Haiti. Mm. Because this revolution brings like, every human being have to be, have the same treatment, black or white, right. every, that is the mindset of Haiti. When Haiti, when one Haitian not feel happy, he call you black. You can be white, you can be, he call you, you are a black man. For us, the mindset of, of uh, what we call racism, mm. we don't understand that mindset. Because we see everybody the same, with love, with passion. That is the real Haitian mindset. When, when you come to Africa, yes. the countries that are blessed with so many natural resources, those are the countries that have been oppressed. Those are the countries that are so poor. Those are the countries that most of their leaders g get assassinated. Do you think Haiti is one of those countries? Haiti faced the same challenge. Uh, what, what, what kind of natural resources do you have in the country? Oh, we are a very rich country. We are one of the more richest country. I don't say just in the world, but in the Caribbean country. If we're talking about natural resources, we have a lot of precious stones. We don't find anywhere. We have diamonds. Wow. We have uh, wild, we have also uh, iridium. If you want to compare Haiti, you can say almost with Congo. Thank you. That is exactly the same example that I gave you yeah. because I have been to Congo and I see how Congo is oppressed, how, I mean, everything is taken out of Congo, but Congo itself is not benefiting from living. it. Exactly. That has to change. As, as an aspiring presidential candidate, what are you going to do to change that? Because listen, anyone who come up to say that I want to change my country, at the end of the day, he will face challenges. He will face challenges. Yeah. So my, my message, I believe we're living today a new world. Mm. We can continue the same politics. Mm. For me, politics means well-being of population. If I want to lead my nation, mm. it's to make the life better. It's not to fight the rich, richest people. I want like, you know, my economy and my country is controlling by 5% of the population. 95% of other people living with less than $2. That have to change. Because those rich people, they're living like slaves. You know, they have to make big citadel and their home to protect themselves because they're living in fear. How you can raise your child with all money you have with fear? You know, and, and, and you don't feel freedom in your own country. I want this freedom will be for everybody. The richest can invest in Haiti to make Haiti a better place for themselves but also for the whole population. But I want to tell you something about me. I don't like politicians. Really? Because politicians, when they are in opposition or when they are not in power, that's when they have all the ideas. I'm sitting down with you today. Yes. If I endorse you, I know that so many people that from Haiti yes. will even want to go back home and go and vote. Exactly. But I hope it's not going to be like you just sat down with me and started talking and talking. And when you become the president, you become a different person. What is that one thing that 
we need to like get to know that okay when i become the president of haiti i'm gonna go by my words is there anything that we call accountability that you think we need to do for you so that when you become president first now i'm gonna fly with a private jet <laughs> and come and check up on you if you're doing what you just told me right now I will, I will repeat it very well thank you i'm not politician i'm outside common politics that is number one that don't mean i'm blaming politicians because yeah. i know we have very good leaders fighting to make this world a better place. Fantastic. Those people sometimes don't sleep. Fantastic. They want to thank the new laws, the new policies for the country. I salute all of them. But I believe if we see after the Second War, 1945 it was SDN, mm. 1950 after the Second War it was UN. Mm. But today, 76 years later, what do we have in the economy? 193 countries mm. and UN, we have 20 countries manage 95% of the global economy. What do we have left? 173 countries surviving with 5% of the global economy. Mm. That is the paradigm, the cartography of the economy today. Okay. So I'm coming politics because I believe politics is the best way we can change the world. Politics for me is the city. Thinking about how we can make better living conditions, mm. well-being for population. Mm. That is the goal I have to come in politics for my country. Because you know, I have experience to go to school, have three days without eating. Wow. Living in small house when it's raining, it's like I was living outside. So I know what this means, misery, poverty, oppression. But when I was young, I say, God, if you give me opportunity to become, I will fight for kids never have the same experience like me. One of the things you have to know, my mother called me Nelson because of purpose. She was castigating, violated by police in Haiti in the period of very difficulty. And one day she discovered a story Nelson Mandela. Mm. She said, if I have a son God, I will call him Nelson. I will teach him why he's born. When I born, she called me Nelson. Always she talked to me. I give you this name by purpose. You can be rich, go everywhere, always remember your people. So that is the education my mother gave me. So today, after more than 25, 30 years of leadership, engagement, not just in Haiti, and all nations of the world, I think nothing can change me mm. because I'm already passionate to help. When young men looking for luxury things for their own, yeah. I invest to go helping other nations. That is my passion. If the Haitian people give me this opportunity to lead, mm -hmm. to serve them, they will have in the history one of the immunity leaders in the world and the match of the history of Haiti. When you become the president, you have to serve the people. Exactly. That not is the, the key. people serving you. Exactly. That is the key. And um, I just wanted you to tell me your full name, you know, like I was so much interested in um, Haiti, so I even forgot to ask your full name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, my name is Nelson Noel. And is that a name that they're going to see on the ballot paper? Exactly, Nelson Noel. Because we have some similarity, taste yeah. and food, yeah. that would make me too much, <laughs> uh, you know, and missing. Yeah. But of course, I, I, I like to, to say I remember about home. Uh, when I see how our youth living in needs, you know, some of them not eating very well, not sleeping very well, like my experience. Mm. So uh, I will be rejoiced maybe when I have like uh, 76 years, when I, when I will celebrate what we call the 250 years of Haiti, because my project is for 32 years. Mm. I'm talking about the foundation, Haiti and economy, mm. and social, the ter territorial, mm. and also institutional. I want also the civic right restore in Haiti. Mm. I want also international cooperation restore between Haiti mm. and all countries. I want Haiti to come back in the economic map because we have a lot of talented, like Wyclef. Yeah. I salute my friend. Uh, we have also Jimmy. We have all of big leaders, you know, really try to make Haiti shine in the world. I'm one of them. So with humility, it's time to think about women because mm. you know, more than 65, women not independent, don't have work in our country. I want all women to feel home because there are too much oppression. Mm. Our women is very strong women. I want them to feel leaders like to give the life, energy for them. So that is the kind of Haiti I dream. My message for the Africa, you have to know 
every single Haitian love Haiti. The Haitian people feel they are more African than any other country or people you can imagine outside of Africa. Our heart is here. We can live in another territory, but our connection, our feeling is connected with this land. So one of the messages I have today is to telling you, I want all of you understand the gate is open for all Haitians come in Africa and every African can come in Haiti. I will want with you to make Haiti the holy land of the freedom because the freedom start there. They start the freedom for all humanity. They start the freedom of all of black and women. All of slavery mindset was break down in Haiti. So for that, we forgive today. We want to build new relationship and business and opportunities. We can connect tourism, we can connect culture. We have a lot to do in this new world. Um, I, I always give place to youth in my platform. Mm. And one of my leadership is to see how not just the Haitian youth believe in to build Haiti, but also how they can also open to other nations to connect with Africa. And the line Africa with Haiti, I see also youth dynamics and in in this and this. For me, strategy. I think the African Union needs to allow Haiti to join us so that maybe Haiti will be the 56th African country. That you don't think so? That is a passion. Why I create Africa, <laughs> Haiti, Chamber of Commerce and Industry? Is to bring <laughs> Haiti back in this map. Are you the youngest aspiring candidate? For now, yes. Really? Yes. Wow, how many people are contesting? Normally, we have more than 10 leaders, you know, and background, they don't really expose everything. But we know next year we're looking for the new election. When is the election? Next year? Uh, on November. Wow. November. I wish you all the best. Thank and you very much. I'll come to Haiti just to vote for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All African vote Nelson Well. Like, hey, if you go on my page, nelsonwell.com, okay. we have petition. You can go in this petition and you, you know, sign this petition. It's also worldwide petition. Everybody can vote. Like, people give their impression about the new Haiti. Okay. Every friend Haiti can vote in my official website page, nelsonwell.com. But how, where can people find you? And my one, nelsonwell.com. Yeah. And, and also on social media, nelsonwell, uh, you know, you can find my page. So nelsonwell.com, all connecting there, nelsonwell. <music> Africa, Haiti love you, and I know also you love Haiti. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you so much for talking to me. It's a pleasure meeting you. you and Thank I wish you. you all the best. Thank you very much. And if you're watching me from Haiti, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Wadamaya, your one and only annoying village boy who's on a journey to change the negative narrative about Africa. I even forgot to ask him what are kind of negative narrative that you have about Africa before coming. Normally, uh, we know we are pessimist, optimism mindset. We think positive. We see Africa like the more beautiful people hmm. because we, we face the same suffering. Wow. So we want to come together and to face the future. That is the message. And for me, I've heard a lot of great things about Haiti. Forget about what the media is saying. And even if the media is portraying Haiti in a bad way, don't worry. Keep calm, your favorite village boy will be in Haiti. And I'm going to show the world that Haiti is a beautiful place to be. I'll see you all in the next one. Aya Maya. Peace out.